All right, so the questions are in, and it's time to answer them. So I just want to, before we get ready to play this video, or for you guys to watch this video, I want you guys to know that Amazing Luna Gamer is the person that kind of mentioned this to me, that made me want to actually make this video. So let's get into it, and just, you know, shout out to him. Go check out his channel if you want to. I'm sure he's going to comment. And just links will be down in the description. So I'm gonna start this off with Glazed XIX Donut. All right, his question is: You're doing great. Just want to know what is your, oh my God, what is your advice for a new YouTuber? I recently started. All right, the best advice I can give you is go for quality. And I know it's like it's gonna feel like a waste. It's gonna be like, oh my God, I spent all this time trying to make my videos this good, but no one watches them. Trust me, I wish I could have done that. Usually, you know, people are like, oh, no one watches them anyway. Just, I'll just throw up a video and, you know, once I get good at Call of Duty or once I get good at um, YouTube, I'll start trying. I wish it worked like that. If you put effort and people see that you're putting effort whenever you have nothing, it makes them think. It's like, hmm, wonder what he's going to do whenever he has a thousand subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. So, Hopefully I helped you out with that. Just, I mean, just by looking, just get an AVI or a uh, logo. Uh, just clear up that blue person with the light blue background, and maybe that's something else. That'll get you more recognized in comments. You, know, you don't blend in with people. Next is from the amazing Luna Gamer, and his question is, what's the most hated game you don't like and don't say call of duty advanced warfare first of all i don't hate call of duty advanced warfare i think it's a great game in fact i don't hate call of duties i in fact i like most of them so my most hated game is actually a bowling game that i got for christmas a very very long time ago it was for the xbox original and honestly the game did not make sense at all it was kind of stupid and it was just a waste of time uh, it I honestly I could care less what happens in that game so next brutality swag sickle swagical what do you think will happen after black ops 3 so I'm not too sure what you mean there after the launch or after the game's over um, basically I kind of know what's gonna happen infinity wards gonna come out with their game it's either gonna be Call of Duty Ghost 2 or a new game or they're going to continue with the Modern Warfare series which is going to make it 4 or they're going to do something and this is big this is what I think and also it kind of pertains to your question I think they're going to remaster all of the Call of Duties I think that's going to happen after Black Ops 3 I would not be surprised if we give Infinity Ward and everyone else one more year and just like on November it's like a huge pack for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 that has all the games like remastered inside of a case and just super collector's edition and I think it would be great if they did that. Uh, next up, when and why did you start YouTube and what are your plans for the future? And that was submitted by PT Bria. Um, I, why I started YouTube is because I thought it was really cool. I thought it was something I could get into and I mean if you guys are here now and some of you know me for my voice, you think my voice is what made me do YouTube, trust me, I, I did not have this voice whenever I started YouTube. I, I wish I did and I think that would have got me a lot, view, uh, a lot more views quicker. But, you know, if you want to go down to, like, my videos and just go all the way down to the bottom, you know, I think there's, like, two or three that just kind of doesn't have my voice. And then kind of just watch those videos and see where I came from quality-wise and content-wise. And then see where I'm at now. And you can understand that my channel, it's almost like it changed hands. So, um, I started YouTube, you know, basically because I wanted to. And when it was on Valentine's Day... Mm, I cannot remember the year, maybe 2013, and uh, the plans for the future is to just keep putting out daily uploads. I know that's a grind and it's hard to do, but I'm going to keep up with it, and I cannot wait to hit the next question, which is by Isa El Darkamaya. What would you do for 10,000 subs? Basically, I, I wouldn't do anything. I'm not for, you know, doing a simple task or even a tedious task. And just getting 10,000 subs. I would much rather earn those. I think it feels better. 
and you know I mean I could get myself 10,000 subs if I wanted to tomorrow it wouldn't be hard um, you know it'd take a little bit of time but I could definitely do that I want subscribers that is gonna stay and come back and want to watch my content and I that's basically it. I don't know how to answer your question other than I wouldn't do anything except what I'm doing right now daily uploads and if that takes me to 10k then so be it next up a good buddy of mine who knows best if you could only play one game for the rest of your life what game would it be I'm thinking it would probably be GTA 5 because you can just you can do anything in it you know there's not really a call of duty that I've played that I've wanted to stick to you know there's I always take a break from call of duty except black ops 2 I don't think I took a single break like you know more than like a couple of weeks I think I took like a week or two off but whenever I wasn't playing multiplayer I was playing zombies and whenever I wasn't playing zombies I was playing multiplayer and vice versa it was just so fun so I'm hoping black ops 3 is like this too and um, I mean I, I but I could not do that for the rest of my life I think GTA probably would be there because it's next-gen and hopefully if you know like if I could add some boundaries in there like if all the online people could always be playing with me that'd be really cool next up is by mr. NCSU man what is your opinion on the direction that COD is going and would you ever consider moving to a new game? I like the way it's going. I think the future is bright for Call of Duty and I, you know, I don't really want to move to another game. I'm I'm content with Call of Duty. I like playing it. Next up is Rusty Shackleford. Are you going to play Rainbow Six Siege? And well, you know, I've thought about it and I've looked the game up and I think if I would, if I am going to get it, it's definitely going to be for play uh, PC. It's not going to be for a console, straight up PC. It looks like a PC game and I think most Tom Clancy games play better on the PC and I mean that's just my opinion. So if I was going to get it, I'd probably get it for the PC, although I'm pretty sure next gen consoles would be just as good. Next up. Black, okay, these are some Black Ops 3 questions by Michael Karupa. Um, how do you feel about zombies? Oh my god, it, it looks amazing. Are you kidding me? And will it save the franchise? Honestly, I don't think the franchise needs to be saved. I think it's plenty good where it is. If you kind of look at it, you don't really lose fans. You kind of lose the old fans. And those are the people that are like older and the people that you listen to. Some are YouTubers and they're like, oh man, Call of Duty's crap. But you got to remember, younger people are coming in and filling in their place even faster. It is so easy to get a console and just start playing. And Call of Duty seems to be the game to, you know, play. It's just fighting. There's zombies. A nice multiplayer. You can play online, offline. It's just an all-around balanced game next up is shadow fran 11 what game is your favorite of all time i'm going to give you guys a second or two to guess what that is put it down in the comment section and whoever's right i don't know i guess you're just lucky all right you had your second hurry up finish typing finish typing all right all right all right so my favorite game of all time and I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably going to say Call of Duty, which it's not. Um, it's actually an Xbox original game, and I also had it for the PlayStation 2. And it is called Destroy All Humans. And that's the first one, the first Destroy All Humans, you know, the OG Destroy All Humans. And I just like it. It's a very fun game, and it's just, you know, it's amazing. I've played tons of hours on it, and any day, if anyone's like, Hey, do you want to play Destroy All Humans? I would be down. Before Call of Duty, like, I'm telling you, I would put that before Call of Duty. If someone's like, hey, you want to play COD? Or do you want to play Destroy All Humans? Destroy All Humans would win. Unless they're like, hey, you want to play Black Ops 3 early? Well, of course I would want to play Black Ops 3 early. But, um, I don't know. That's been it for the questions today. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know. Comment down below if you want to see more. Comment down below if you like this at all. And, you know, just have a great day. I will see you tomorrow with a fresh new upload. My name's Aaron, and I'm out.